fish operators are a special class of function designed to be executed in a multi-threaded environment on a repeated function call made using splitting if the symbol was declared as an operator these separate executions will be distributed on all available computer threads on a typical modern multi-core computer and a large set of data this can result in a very large increase in speed operators are created using the fish operator command with arguments following just like fish define the fish lines in the definition are the same as for a normal function with some additional restrictions in order to demonstrate fish operators we will first generate some data to operate upon using both lists and split arguments first let's assign a random seed value for the model then using the math.random uniform fish intrinsic the following fish function creates 100000 data scalars at random coordinates within a 10 by 10 by 10 unit volume a random value from 0 to 20 is also assigned to the scalar be aware that global symbols must be synchronized across all threads simultaneously and can therefore severely affect overall performance it is recommended that local variables be used exclusively where possible however there are occasions when a global symbol is unavoidable requiring special steps the operator is executed like a normal fish symbol with a split argument however since it is an operator the repeated calls will be executed on all available threads the fish operator label data will determine if the x coordinate of a particular scalar object falls within a given range using the in range fish intrinsic when the operator is called if the scalar object's x position is within the specified range it is assigned to the group inside slot mark while returning the value true otherwise it will assign the scalar to the group outside slot mark while returning the value false it should be noted that like a fish function an operator is a global symbol rather than assign a value to the operator a better approach is to use the return statement as with all splitting the return values are collected into a list to execute the operator call it as a normal fish symbol with a split argument the arguments data low and high will be set as the earlier generated scalar list the value 4 and the value 6 respectively note that the local value x is the x component of the scalar object's position since it is an operator the repeated calls will be executed on all available threads now let's execute this data file using the green execute icon and plot the scalar objects as shown Change the scalar mark from cube to sphere and reduce the scale. Change the plot item label from uniform to group. It can be seen that the scalar's x positions between 4 and 6 have been assigned to the group inside. This concludes the tutorial on multi-threaded fish operators.